Welcome back to the YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be going over how to optimize your website for conversion so when people go to your website you've got features on your website and implementations on your website so people add to cart and they check out now. Everything that I'm going to be giving you is literally unlimited. I'm going to be giving you everything. I'm not going to be hiding anything from you. I'm going to be giving you everything that I use in my stores and everything that I give my students. So I'd appreciate it if you guys smash that subscribe button and you like this video because I'm going to be giving you everything you need today to maximize your conversion rates. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers so make sure you do subscribe to the YouTube channel because I do believe I'm giving you guys so much free content it's unreal so I'd appreciate it if you guys could support the channel and once I've hit 1,000 subscribers I will be doing quite a big giveaway for one of you lucky winners now like I said this is a three-part series so today is the second part of the three-part series the first video which I made last was about how to identify what the problem actually is so the next video will be about how to make sure the traffic you're sending to your website is tailored to your brand or your niche now bear with me one second guys the um the sun just changed then like really badly so i've had to optimize it on my uh, video recorder and as i was saying this is the second part of the series and i will be making a playlist on my youtube channel so you guys can easily access this and find all the videos you need to find and like i said the first one was how to identify the issue so i'll leave that in the card somewhere so you guys can access that and we're going to dive straight into the content so let's get into it but before i do get into it the last the winner of the last giveaway was somebody called linda Beko beko I am really bad at pronouncing names. You can laugh at me if you want. I am really bad. I will leave a picture of your profile here so you definitely know who won and you can contact me through Facebook or Instagram and we'll arrange that 15 minute consultation call. If you guys wanna win a, a free consultation call for 15 minutes, then all you need to do is comment TakeOver 2019, hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will announce that winner in next Monday. Um, I was meant to uh, announce the winner of this giveaway yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to make this video. Um, I make my videos the same day I upload them so that's how it works so let's get straight into the content but before I move into the content I know a lot of people are asking me a little bit about how my office setup is now you can see here that's the other side of the office now that's where the iMac is that's where my partner normally works when we work together she's got her own fashion business so she uses that side um, and then you've got my side here guys the the lighting's really bad bear me one second let me see if I can fix this so there we go, the line's a little bit better. This is my side, my computer, my laptop, my keyboard, my mouse, my headset, my coffee cup, my water bottle, water's important guys. And then like I said, that's my partner side. So let, let's forget about that. Let's get straight into the content guys, which is on my laptop and let's get recording so you guys know how to make sure you get your website fully optimized for conversion rates. So let's dive straight on to how to optimize your website for conversion. So the first thing guys is having a clear value proposition. So this means telling your consumer, telling your visitor what you're offering as value, like what are you putting on the table for them to buy from you? Is it amazing customer support? Is it amazing shipping times? Is it amazing aftercare? What value proposition are you giving these customers? Are you giving them the best product quality? Make it clear, make it easy for them to read because this is gonna increase your sales, your conversion now. You gotta understand that conversion rate is directly related to red flags. Now what I mean by red flags is, the more red flags your visitor has, the less chance they've got from buying them from you. So if you eliminate the red flags in their head, the more you eliminate, the more chance you've got a success in terms of conversion. You're not gonna eliminate all of them. We're human beings. We all have um, anxiety to a certain extent, but the more you eliminate, the more chance you've got. So the first one is clear value proposition. This is gonna tell them and identifying why they should buy from you. So the next one is having a clean theme now. If a customer, now guys, you have to think of it like this. Think of it from the customer's point of view. If they were to come to your website, is it is it exceptional for them to buy from you? Does it look professional? Would you buy from your own website? If the answer is no, then who are you trying to fool? You're trying to fool yourself. So if you can't afford a paid theme, and I'll get onto this in a minute, then go with Brooklyn theme. It's probably the best free theme. And if you can edit it as well, then it looks even better. But I'm giving you guys an alternative to free themes now. I'm giving you guys an option for paid themes as low as $14. And I'm gonna repeat that, as low as $14. That's like running ads for one day, if, if not even less. Now, you can get a paid theme that looks absolutely amazing for as low as $14. And like I said, I'll show you guys this in a minute. Now, a paid theme just makes your website look more professional. It looks less like a dropship in the store and it makes customers think like this isn't like 
if customers think that your website doesn't look normal, then there you go, another red flag. So this helps making your this helps make your website look normal and even more professional. So let me show you guys the um, website that I use to get my paid themes from and also who my students use as well. And you can ask all my students in the group. They all use this website as well. So let me show you guys this website. It's amazing. So before I show you guys this website, I'm just gonna show you an example. So this is a store that we're gonna be critiquing throughout the video just so I can show you guys how you can implement these uh, conversion tactics correctly. But as you can see, this is a fitness store and you can see this doesn't look amazing. It, it, I'm guessing this is a free theme. Yeah, it is a free theme and you can see it doesn't look amazing. It looks like a typical drop shipping store and you don't wanna look like a typical drop, drop shipping store. You can look at the product page as well. It doesn't look amazing. Now, if we compare this to this store, which is the website that I use for my paid themes, as you can see here, this looks a lot more professional. This one looks a lot more legit. And this one looks like a brand. And like I said before in loads of my other videos, you don't need to be a massive brand to look like a big brand. You just need to give people that that thought that you are now having a good website like this gives them the thought that you're not some little small brand you are quite a big brand and you are professional now this this theme costs 50 50 like eight dollars so it's barely anything it's less than a hundred dollars it's 58 dollars and you're getting a professional website that's probably worth a thousand dollars if you was to get somebody um to make this website for you um online they'll probably charge you a thousand dollars now i know this because i've done a lot of websites myself um, and I've made some real good websites myself and I know how much people charge. So for $50, guys, you're getting a bargain. Now, like I said, you're looking between $14 and $50 for these themes, depending on which store you're going for. But I will leave a link in the description below. Just click on that link, search for whatever industry you're in, what niche you're in, whatever you want to find. And it will give you the categories and the themes and the live demos. Now, yes, it is an affiliate link, but I use this company all the time. My students use it all the time. So that's why I'm giving you guys the link. And the reason why it's an affiliate link is because that will help me out, guys. So if you guys could use that link, it would help my YouTube channel out. But let's get straight into the next step. So the next step, guys guys is website speed now if your website speed is not at a minimum of four seconds then you're leaving money on the table and you're losing visitors now if your website can't load within four seconds then you've lost your customer because their attention spam is at four seconds at the moment maybe five maybe less so you need to make sure that your website can load within four seconds then you're not going to lose people if it can't then you're in trouble now a tool you can use to find out your website speed is something called Google website speed and I will leave a link in the description below so you can use that tool. It's completely free. It's, Google made it. Now it will track your desktop speed and your mobile speed. Now both of them need to be under four seconds or at four seconds. Now this goes back to a paid theme. If you've got a paid theme then if you buy a paid theme from that website you'll see they'll say optimized for super fast speed. So like the website speeds like two seconds, three seconds, even less. So when you buy a paid theme, you are gonna get really fast, super fast website speeds. Now, if you now, if you wanna try and improve your current website speed on your old website, then you can use, like I said, you can compress the images and you can get rid of apps you're not using. Now, apart from that, you're gonna to have to get a developer in to kind of speed up your website, but if you're gonna upgrade your theme, you don't need to worry too much about doing your website speed because your new theme will come with a fast um, speed and you can check it after you've bought it as well. Now, there's no point buying a theme if you're gonna upload large photo files to that theme, because obviously you're buying a paid theme and you're gonna to wanna to change the photos on that theme. Now, if you're uploading really large file sizes, you're gonna slow that theme down. So you need to make sure that when you do, do if you do buy a theme, then you um, compress your images anyway, and you make sure that you're only using five to 10 apps. So the next thing is good product descriptions, and I will leave a cart here, so you guys can find out the video I made two videos ago about good product descriptions and how you guys can create good product descriptions. Now, add product video on your product page. Now, it doesn't matter if it's the same video as the one that you use for your Facebook ad, or it's a different video. I would recommend probably a different video, but if you wanna use the same one as your Facebook ad, it's fine, but I would recommend using a different video. But product videos on product pages, I can't explain it, you can Google it. This increases conversion by so much, guys. Like I've done it on my, I, I've, I've done the um, analytics myself and I've seen it time and time again. When I add a product video, it increases conversion so much. The product video that makes the conversion increase the most is when some, when you upload a review of that of that product. So if you're an upload, if you're uploading a video of somebody unboxing that um, product and reviewing it, then that increases conversion the most. Out of every video that I've uploaded to product pages, the one that does the best is ones that unbox the product and give their review for like a minute. If, if like It's like a minute to two minutes. Those ones do the best, guys. So if you want it, that's another tip that I'm gonna give you. 
unboxing videos on a product page do amazing. The next one is Luke's Reviews. Now, you can use Ali Reviews, but I prefer Luke's Reviews if that's how you pronounce it. Now, Luke's Reviews is my favorite because it's more customizable. It looks a lot more professional and you can integrate it with other apps. It's amazing. You don't need the super expensive plan. You just need the plan for, I think, $9. Just their minimum plan you need. Next one is call to action. So for example, like a countdown timer. Now the countdown timer I use is Horrify. It is a paid countdown timer. Now if you guys who are watching this know a countdown timer that is actually free, then leave that in the comment section below. I'd appreciate it. Now you've got two types of countdown timers. You've got a scarcity and you've got an urgency. Now scarcity is telling people, for example, there's only three left in stock. Now an urgency is telling people that your sale ends in 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So they're the two options you can use when you're doing a countdown timer. You can say your sale ends in 10 minutes or your product will, fall, will run out of stock in one product. Now I recommend that you change it every week so you change the countdown timer. So for example, the countdown timer one week will be about the sale ending and then the next week it can be about you running out of that product always change it guys it always helps and split test them see which one works better for you one that i really love adding to my website that like skyrockets my conversion is ad guarantees now i add two guarantees you can add as many guarantees as you want but the one that i add is um 24 hour support so i'm not I'm not false advertising, I'm saying 24 hour support. It's not 24 hour live support, but it is 24 hour support. So they'll, for example, if they message me through my chat, uh, auto email will get sent to them and then I will and then I will email them or my VA will email them in the morning once we're awake or they're awake. So you're just basically telling the customer, look, you can contact us at any time and we'll get back to you. Now that makes them feel so much more comfortable and this eliminates, like I was saying at the start of the video, the red flags. Oh my God, if I buy from this store, am I gonna even get in contact with them? So that's an amazing guarantee. Put on their 24 hour support guarantee. That works a treat, can't explain it anymore. Other guarantees are, Another guarantee I had is easy return guarantee. Now that makes customers feel at ease. So when they buy the product, if it isn't what they thought, or if any for any reason they need to return the product, they know it's not gonna be a hard process. So this really increases conversion. They're the two guarantees that I add to my website. You can add whatever guarantee to your website, guys, but guarantees work a treat. Like they increase conversions by like a skyrocket. Next ones are fear of loss. Now fear of loss goes back to countdown timers. Make your customer feel like they're missing out if they don't buy from you straight away. So if they don't buy straight away, they're gonna have a fear of loss. So for example, one fear of loss that I like to use is when the customer tries leaving the product page, a light box will appear and our light box is a pop-up and it will say, if you use, if you buy right now, you will get a 10% discount. So if they leave and don't come back, they won't get that 10% discount. That's the fear of loss that I most prefer using. When they try and leave my product page or my add to cart page, then I'll give them a pop-up saying, here's a 10% coupon or a 20% coupon. If you use it within the next two minutes, five minutes, you'll get this coupon code. The next one is a currency converter. Now this is super important guys. Now currency converter, I can't explain the importance of it. Now you've got to remember that people want to see their own currency when they're going to their product. They don't want to see US currency. So if they're living in the US and they're seeing a British currency, they don't want to see that. It puts them off by a ton. Now you can use a free currency converter called best currency converter, but the free version, the customer has to change the currency himself. I recommend the paid one because it makes life more convenient for the customer. Now, the more convenient you're making life for the customer, the more chance you're gonna convert. Now, the paid one will automatically change the currency depending on where they are in their location. So if they're from the UK and you're from the US, but your website is mainly US currency, if the UK person goes to your website, it'll automatically change to British pounds. Now, guys, this increases conversions by a load. Now, I don't know if there's a free one that converts automatically. If you guys know one, then leave that in the comment section below. That would be appreciated. The next one is adding trust badges. Now, the trust badges you wanna add, I'll get onto in a minute. Like I said at the start of the video, if I did, I will be showing you life examples of websites and I'll be showing you the best trust badges you can use in a minute, but don't use the ones that most people use, the common ones, they don't work. They actually degrade your value as a business. Now, the next one is make sure that your payment gateways are diversified. So I know in some countries you can't use all the payment gateways, you are restricted, but if you can access these gateways, you wanna have PayPal as, as one regardless. If you can have PayPal as a gateway, have it on there. I don't give a shit if their um, commissions are higher than other gateways. I don't care. PayPal is a must. PayPal is still to today the, the most used gateway in the world, so you need it on your website. 
Um, Stripe is another good one. Stripe, PayPal. Now, if you guys can't use those ones, I will leave a link in the description below on the best payment gateways if you're not in the if you're not in the areas where you can use those. So that will be in there for you guys that can't use those. Next one, transparency. Now, this one again will 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 erase that red flag in your customers' heads. Now, transparency on shipping times and on product. Pay, so you want to add, sorry, your shipping times on your product page and the shipping price now. The amount of times that I've been to websites before and they don't display the shipping times or the pro, or the shipping um, fees on product pages, they'll only show you them on checkout pages. I don't even bother having a look because I don't even care. I don't even want to go through the stress of going to their product page, entering my email, entering all my details just to find out the product, um, the product um, price and shipping times. Add them on your product page. Don't be scared, add them on your product page and trust me, watch your, watch your conversion skyrocket, watch your chargebacks decrease. Now, I see it all the time and this is going to be a separate video, but I see people hiding their shipping times because they're using ePacket. Now, before I move on, if you haven't already, I will put in the card somewhere, best drop shipping supplies in 2019 that can get your product to your customer within three to 14 days. So you guys watch that. I really do recommend that if you've got really bad shipping times. Now, like I said, I see people hiding their shipping times and then when their customers find out that it's going to take ages they end up charging you back by saying look i want a refund so what's the point of hiding it you're going to it's going to cause you stress if you hide it so be transparent put it on your product page customers value it more than you hiding it i can't emphasize this and add the prices on your product page you will increase conversions and you'll decrease chargebacks i can't emphasize this enough next one on-site order tracking so make sure that your customers can track their orders on your website now shout out to ethan ethan's the one that shared this app with me it's called trackable now trackable is free up to 150 orders every single month so you can have 150 customers tracking their orders every single month for free on your website now i use trackify and that's expensive and you don't get anything like that so a massive shout out to ethan and then after 100 so 150 orders is going to be way more than enough for most people but if you do exceed 150 orders a month then i think it's like ten dollars but massive shout out to ethan adding order tracking just shows that you've got nothing to hide it shows that you are more than happy for customers to track through your website so it adds again less red flags so for example customers worrying about tracking where to track you're eliminating that fear next one is adding your social media accounts to your website i can't emphasize this enough adding your social media accounts to your website is just showing your customers showing your visitors that you have a social media present and you're not just a website and it makes you look like less of a robot it, it shows them that your it shows them your personality so make sure that you've got at least two or three social media facebook page instagram page and for example pinterest page whatever page you want to add extra but normally the two are the facebook and the linkedin Next one is the all the industry standard policy pages. Now, this one is crazy. The amount of websites that I order and they haven't got these pages or they haven't got all of them. And I'm thinking, are you being for real? The first one is make sure that you've got a privacy policy page. You can get in trouble if you don't have one of these. Make sure you've got a terms and condition page. Make sure that you've got a shipping policy. Now, I normally add my shipping policy on my product page and I also add it in my footer. Now, you're also going to want to add your return and refund policy. You're also going to want to have an about us page. Now, the amount of websites I've been on and they've not had an about us page, I don't care if you're doing a one product store. I don't care what store you're doing. You still need an about us page. Now, I've got a special software where it will track my customer's behavior from start to finish. So they go from my home page to my product page to my about page. Now, through doing this tracking, I've noticed that before people buy a lot, a high percentage of them go back to my about page before they buy because they want to know me as a brand first. They want to know who they're buying. They want to know who they're, they're spending their money with. So having an about page helps so much. And I can't stand it when people don't have one and their excuses. It's a one product store. I don't need one. I've done it time and time and again. I've tracked my visitors' um, behavior and they go to my about page so many times before they buy just to see if they want to spend money with me. Now, you have to understand people that people buy you as a brand first then they buy what you're selling them so if you haven't gotten a good if you haven't gotten about us page and it's not well optimized then you're in trouble now if you want to find out how to do a good about us page i will leave a link in the description no i won't leave a link in the description just google product about sorry about us pages examples and you can have a look at some examples adding an faq to your product pages is a must 
Can't emphasize it enough. Add an FAQ page if you don't know what that stands for, frequently asked questions. And then my product description. So how to write product descriptions. In that video, I talk about how you can get amazing FAQ answers so it eliminates any um, red flags to your customers. You're gonna also wanna add a contact us page. The amount of websites I've been on and they've not had a contact us page, it's ridiculous. You wanna add one that is super easy to use and super easy to access and it's not complicated. Now, a little bonus, you're gonna to wanna to add a chat, an uh, online chat bot to your website. It also helps the amount of websites, sorry, the amount of times that people have used my chat bot before buying is amazing. Like, the amount of people that have messaged my chat bot saying, um, can I order this and get it by this? Or have you got a coupon I can use? And I've already set automated um, responses. So for example, a lot of people normally message me on the chat box on my website saying, can I have a coupon? It'll automatically send them a 5% coupon, done, got a sale. Guys, and I will be making a separate video on this in terms of chat box, but guys implement them and have auto response automatically. And I've just given you one, for example, when people ask for coupons. Now, let me show you guys a real life example of some websites and how you can how how they are perceived at the moment and how you should be adding things to them to make them a lot more better. So for example, it'll be before and then it'll be after. So let me show you some websites that you can use as an example. So the example that I'm gonna give you now, this is a good example. So this is what you kinda of wanna make your product page look like. Don't copy it, but kind of get some ideas. Now this is Ethan's product page. I know I've been using his website a lot, but his website's always good up to standards. Now you can see here, his branding's really good. His unique selling point, his, his value proposition's already been explored. We, his branding's been really good, power struggle, so it's about, and you can see here he's selling um, cases to do with um, keeping your battery at full capacity. So there you go, it's a clear value proposition. You can see here, he's got the sell sticker, he's got the before and after price. He's using green for good, and sorry, he's, he's using green and red as, as colors to get people's attention. You can see it's easy options to access here. A clean and clear add to cart button, bulk uh, orders here, Scarcity here to give people scarcity, limited stock, selling fast, hurry now, one item left. You can see that's what he's using. You can see he's got a product video here and the product video he's actually using is his own product video. It's his own, he made this video himself. He ordered his product from the supplier and he's, he's actually bulk ordering his uh, products at the moment. But as you can see here, he's made his own video of this, which is even better guys, because then nobody's gonna find this anywhere else. His product description is spot on, as you can see here. And like I said, I have, I will leave in the cards before how to make good product descriptions. You can see here, he's got his reviews and you can write reviews now. A big mistake people make is they add too many reviews to their website. Now that makes it look too unprof that makes it look too unrealistic. Add between five to ten reviews, in my opinion, and add reviews that are people that are English speaking. So if you can, if you read the review and it sounds like bad grammar, bad English, bad English, bad spelling mistakes, don't use them. Only use product reviews if they're good English and they look like legit reviews. But like I said, and you're also gonna to wanna to use reviews if you can with ones with photos. So prioritize photo reviews as well. But there are a few tips. And you can see here, his website is perfect in terms of conversion. His add to cart page is perfect. Now I will be making a separate video on how to optimize your add to cart page. So it's, it's gonna increase people buying. But that's a separate video, guys. Now if we take a look at this website, now this is a bad example of what your product page should look like. Now you can see here, his website's not uh, not that not the better looking. You can see here which one's a lot more simple, a lot more clean, a lot more scannable here. You can see the difference. Which one's easier to scan. Now you can see here, he's got he's got the name of the product. You can see here he's got the before and after price now. There's no there's no like grabbing your attention with colors here. You can see here this is the option. There's no there's no add to cart screaming button there. Now you can scroll down. Here's his trust badges. Now these were the trust badges that I was saying not to use. Don't use these trust badges. Stay the hell away from him. Please don't use them. Let me show you the trust badges you should be using. Let me Google it. So use these trust badges, guys. So all you need to do is type in trust badges. Go on to images, uh, scroll down, and you want to use these ones here. Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, bear me one second, guys. Maybe it was that one. Anyway, okay, just use this one, guys. Now, the reason why this one's a lot better is because easy returns, 30-day money-back guarantee, 100% satisfaction guarantee, secure ordering. Now, I don't like this, this trust badge. If it was me, I'd probably... I'd probably crop that one out of the photo. 
and pardon me and just keep satisfaction money back guarantee and easy returns now the reason why these are better trust badges is because they actually provide value you're telling your customers you've got easy returns you're telling your customers that it's a 30 day money back guarantee and you're telling them that it's satisfaction guaranteed now these trust badges where are they these trust badges are just, are just telling people what payment what payment options you accept now most payment gateways accept visa mastercard american express paypal and jcb like guys, customers don't need to know that. Customers don't need to know you accept those payment options because most payment gateways, 99% of them, are, are, um, sorry, accept these gateways. You're not telling them anything new here. You're just you're just stating the obvious. These trust badges, on the other hand, are actually giving them value. It's showing them a, a more. It's like back in their um, confidence up. You're giving them more confident to buy, guys. So just make sure that you don't use those trust badges and you use the ones that I'm showing here, guys. They work so much more better. So let's go back to the website. You can see here the product description is not the best. This isn't too bad, but it's just not amazing, guys. If you compare it to Ethan's um, product, product page here, it's just a lot more better. It's a lot more neatly taken out. He's put spaces so it's easier to read. And if you actually read them, you'll find that they're a lot better. A good thing that he's done is he's actually put his delivery times on here. So a massive shout out to him. He's done that. 12 to 20 days, not bad, but it could be a lot better. Um, and then he's got no customer review. So that doesn't look the best. So you can see there, it's not amazing. You can see that Ethan's product page is a lot better. And he's implemented everything that I just mentioned to you guys. And you can see here in his photo, he's got all the policies he needs. And if he's looking, if you look at this photo, they've not got all the policies. There are They are missing all the tracking. So you can't actually track your order on this website. So you can see there's a massive, massive, massive difference. Now, that was my good versus bad example, guys. Now, I hope this video has helped you guys. And if you've got any questions for me, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them. And I'll see you guys on the next video in part three, which is how to make sure that your traffic is targeted to your website.